for a second there. I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend. He knew the risks, and still he let me take his armor. He was so brave. He was also incredibly stupid, but still, so brave. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? Soren, none of this is Jesse's fault. Who cares whose fault it is? The command block is still out there. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So, is the command block controlling all three wither uh, storms? Why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true, I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. But we are helping them. Saving the world saves them too. Isn't that just... kind of abstract? No. The number one thing you can do for them is to make sure we defeat those wither storms. I... I guess you got a point. Okay. I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're alright. Thanks. I'm gonna go check on the horses. <coughs> Whoa, easy there, Petra. Stop. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't all on you, and you know it. I was in on the deal, too. But I brought that skull back solo. I was Ivor's henchman. Well, I was your henchman, so based on the transitive property of henchmen. Just know, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. 
I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No. No way. I'm not a quitter. Petra, you need to keep fighting. There's no time to sit around relaxing in some cave. Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Knew you'd understand. Just give me a little time to catch my breath, and I'll be fine. This is a bad idea, Jesse. Yeah, well, it's Petra's call to make. Petra, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. She's only the greatest engineer ever to put her hands to redstone. Sounds impressive. What can I say? It is. And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but... You're both members of the Order of the Stone. And what's that? The Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Mm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Talk a little about Magnus. Magnus, yes. He was something else. Annoying, sure. But funny. And strange. Heck, he was probably the only person in the Order who'd still have been awesome even without the... Without the what? Never mind. Point is, you liked him. We all did. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh... I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. But I want to express my gratitude. You can thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Magnus. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! Making me feel better, Reuben. That's what I said, isn't it? Well, just as you once helped us before. It isn't about the past, it's about the future. How are the horses looking? Tired, but they're okay. Same as the rest of us. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Lucas. Yeah, me too. You came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous.
It's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for once, Soren. I did that by locking the command block away. So only you could use it. Ah, oh, do you still... Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Haven't you done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Well, technically, I set in motion a series of events whose end result appears to it's be... It's the same thing! What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. And the reason you didn't tell us that ages ago? Gabriel was gone. I didn't think it mattered. Right, except Gabriel gave the amulet to me. What? I... I didn't know. Ah, <sighs> Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Huh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. Wait, it's obvious. We simply bring the amulet back to my fortress. Soren, I like it. If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Ivor, how could you keep this secret? Oh, believe you me, keeping secrets is easy. So I made something. An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon. And you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. We're not safe anywhere, are we? Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. We need to get out of here right now. Ivor says that if we don't, that thing will... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Hello, my name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. <laughs> 